<clears throat> What's up, guys? This is Dead Guy Kill, or Kill for short. And I'm going to do this little series of where I basically give out little pointers on what I've noticed as a support. And that can help people to get better at playing the role more effectively. Now, a lot of people in the community, I say a lot of people, people that are generally don't know how to play the game, typically look at me as a troll playing Morgash support. I'm playing Morgash as support, but I'm also learning the fundamentals on what it means to play as support without hard CC and reliant of lane control. There's a lot of words I just said there that doesn't make any sense to a lot of people. And this is why I want to start this series to basically break down my thought process on what I do. Now, who am I? I'm no one important, right? Well, my background shows a lot and it reflects a lot of my gameplay and my thought process. A few people in the community picked up on that, I'd rather where I didn't, you know, I thought it was a normal thing that people already did. These things that I'm going to be pointing out, such as map awareness, locating going through timers and figuring out when to roam as well as figuring out where to gank as a support character. So there's a lot of things in there that I think about literally every time I make a decision. And playing people like Muriel, Moragesh, it gives me the opportunity to play in a way where I have to not only think about those five fundamental things that could get me killed or get my team to lose the match but now i'm also rather thinking I'm well where can i go and what can i do to make myself useful in these team fights so i can basically execute my fundamentals a lot easier a lot of people might not get what i'm saying and they might not understand why i'm doing these things and that's fine you're not me but i've learned a lot in these times i've achieved a lot in these times. And this is the reason why my Morgash support has never hit below 50% win rate. And this is not even me trying to play the game at my full capacity. I'm again, just trying to learn by experimenting like most people are doing. This is why I'm not in a crazy MMR rank. I mean, I'm got the highest was I was a platinum, right? So I, there, I'm not saying that I can tell you on how to get good by being skillful because I'm still trying to learn all that. What I know is the fundamentals on how to basically help your team push for the victory. A lot of people don't really break it down from the beginning. They look at, when they look at it, they kind of look at it as a tree and they don't understand that, well, there's a, to make the tree live, you need support. And with that support, it brings life to the tree, right? Well, that, it's kind of the same way as the lanes. You have to start with the roots. Well, where are we going to go at? We have to push the lane. We're at one minute in the game, and my carry is now rushing them. Because that is, the, that is now, that's the first wave. That shouldn't happen. As a support character, you want to, depending on obviously and who you play, you want to look at your map awareness at this point. When one minute hits, you need to know and aware where you need to know exactly where the jungle is at at all times as a support. You'll need to know and adjust where you need to go and where to gank and where to maneuver based on that information. Now, map awareness is very hard and tedious, especially when you're trying to actually maintain a lane or trying to keep your carry from dying. It's very hard to maintain these kind of fundamentals when your team doesn't really help you execute them. And this is why you have that CC button. If you're playing an actual support character, you have the time and to stop and hold the lane just a little bit with that CC. So there's an advantage you can use just sheer out of luck, right? Just having that ability. Um, map awareness, though, like I said, is one of the most important things to do and to learn on how to do. 
always looking at that mini map, taking a glance on where everyone is. When someone changes positions, ping it. When someone doesn't change positions and they, there's someone else that's going to gank, ping it. You are now not only the, the communication center, but you are also the person, again, the support, the one that's bringing life to your team or rather keeping your team alive with this information. Muriel plays it really well with her ultimate. This is about, what, eight minutes into the game, 10 minutes into the game, depending on how bad you're winning or losing, you're going to be hitting your ultimate. When you hit your ultimate, you should be able to maneuver a lot easier or gank a lot easier. Now, a support character ganking may seem like a troll thing to say, or a support roaming may be a troll thing to say, but may lane maintenance is the is the the first and most important thing that you need to do until 10 minutes but when you hit that 10 minute marker you need to roam into mid lane you need to roam into off lane and this is depending on where the weak link is in these lanes now if your duo lane is the weak link and you've been ganked and your tower is falling apart obviously roaming is not a good idea however Doing so might hinder one lane, but you might execute the other lane even faster if you do roam and gank. So if you're going to do something, if you're going to sacrifice a position, then make sure the reward makes up for it, right? And I'm not saying get a kill. 10 minutes into the game, one kill won't really matter. Not even in a position to where get objectives. It doesn't really matter. No one is strong enough to maintain team fights long enough to gain the advantage to get that objective in those fights in the first place, right? So right now you're just trying to maintain it in a very easy way. I'm not trying to draw out this video, but that's, what a, that, that's a good example on how you maintain map awareness. Every time you make a move from your lane, always look at the map. Look where everyone is, adjust your plan, and think of where you can execute the gank or a roam. If it's not worth it, then don't. If you think it is, then do it. Again, don't let your team pressure you into staying in one lane. That's not your job. You are a support role. That means that you support the team, not duo. Not, you're not supporting the carry. You're supporting the team. And if the carry was smart enough, he would know and when he would know when and how to roam and gank himself because that is actually everyone's job to maintain the team pressure the team lane pressure i'm not going to drain this up to more than eight minutes guys you guys have a great day i love you guys so much thank you so much for the support i want to keep these videos going again this was all about map awareness and maintaining your lane just for the first 10 minutes maintain that just think of those things i said every time you do something every time you try to do something from your lane that's leaving your lane make sure that it the sacrifice is worth the reward all right guys this is kill i'm out you guys have a great day